Good morning all, respected guest of honor, chief guest, senior faculty members, my dear friends and colleagues, I, all, I invite all for the um, day two of Ortho 1 Series 1 Symposium. Yesterday we conducted the meeting for the doctors. Today it's going to be for all the uh, professionals, especially doctors, physiotherapists, physical education teachers and coaches. The theme of today's event is overhead injury prevention and management. It's an uh, extreme pleasure for me to have uh, Mr. V. Balakrishnan, the Commissioner of Police, felicitating this uh, occasion. I kindly request him to take on to the dais, please. I request Dr. David Rajan, the organizing chairman, Ortho One Orthopedic uh, Specialty Center, to take on to the stage, please. I kindly request Mrs. Sunita Rajan, the Director of Administration, Orthoban Orthopedic Specialty Center, to take onto the stage, please. I request the guest of honor, Mr. G. E. Sridharan, to come onto the stage, please. I invite Mr. Vipin Vijay, the guest of honor, to come onto the stage. I request the international faculties, namely Dr. John Noel Martin from France, to come onto the stage, please. Great pleasure to invite Dr. Amit Joshi from Nepal to come onto the stage, please. He will be joining us soon. I request the medical superintendent of Ortho and Orthopedic Specialty Center, Dr. Santosh, to come onto the stage, please. I request you all to raise for the Tamil Thai Vartu. <laughs> So now I invite Dr. David V. Rajan, the organizing chairman of Ortho One Academy, to give the welcome address. Good morning. Um, thank you for uh, coming all the way uh, just for this meeting. And uh, special thanks to the dignitaries on the dais, especially uh, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Balakrishnan, who does not go out for any function on Sunday because of his passion for our meeting, sports, he's come all the way. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, <laughs> this sports medicine symposium, this time is happening on around shoulder and upper limb. Earlier, some of you may remember that we had on knee injuries, we had on topics like uh, tennis injuries, shuttle badminton injuries, uh, and football. Um, this time, the focus is on shoulder, so we are concentrating on shoulder injury prevention. And we, as you know, always insist on focus on prevention 
rather than treatment. And treatment is secondary. And the coaches and physios, you can do wonders on preventing the injuries. You can spot the player at risk and correct it and prevent him from getting, getting injured. And thereby you can have the A team all the time. So I hope you will have a lot of take home points from this meeting. And a lot of physios, trainers, coaches, and physical education trainees have uh, registered for this meeting. And they get to come. And you people are close to the athletes. You know their strength. You know their weakness. Uh, you are the bridge between we sports medicine doctors and the athlete. We cannot approach them all the time. And therefore, it is our duty to impart the knowledge that we have um, to you so that the, uh, the athletes will benefit. Can I ask, request Dr. Amit Joshi from Nepal to come and sit on the dais. So it, it is the onus is on you people, the coaches, physios, athletes, to protect an athlete and prevent injury. Now I would like to introduce our guest today, Mr. Balakrishnan. Basically, is a um, agricultural uh, graduate. He has been in 17 years in law and order. He's a postgraduate in human rights. He himself is an athlete, and as he was saying in Kabaddi, his father was a, a great volleyball player, and he's, uh, he done a lot of good work to the community, like eradication of illicit liquor, liquor adopted 14 tribal villages in Thane district, rescued more than 400 people in flash flood, flash, flash flood in Noel River, and he is uh, also inducted a lot of program for transgenders and child marriage also. He is prevented a lot, and we welcome him. I request my wife to hand over a bouquet to him. Next, it's my um, pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Sridharan, um, the, the, the volleyball king or emperor, you can say, of India. Yeah. And he's got a lot of awards and all that, but I still what I remember is as a medical student, I've seen him playing volleyball. And, uh, Nawab Jan one side, and you give a great lift, and see that you smash so well. And uh, the spirit of uh, sportsmanship is, uh, is impersonated in that. And uh, he's a great help to a lot of uh, uh, youngsters in bringing them up and keeping up the standard of volleyball in India, also elsewhere. He travels a lot. Please believe me, he's come all the way from Bhubaneshwar to participate on, in this meeting on his own. Please give him a big applause. <laughs> so by the way, one of the many awards that he won is Arjuna Award and the Rona Charya Award. If I have to read about him, it will take four or five minutes, so I don't want to. <laughs> and next we have Mr. Vipin Vijay. I have also seen him play basketball. He is uh, very good in basketball. He is repre represented in India and uh, currently is a CEO of uh, Arya Vaidya Pharmacy. Uh, he is an accomplished and driven leader. He is an entrepreneur now 
and he is stationed in Coimbatore. We Coimbatoreans are very uh, privileged on that. Welcome to you. I want to miss it three then and I want to... So we'll have to get on with the rest of the program. And uh, would you like to introduce the faculty, invite faculty, or should I? Yes. So, uh, Dr. Jean Martin um, is a sports medicine surgeon from France. He's come all the way from France to be with us and talk to us, and thank you very much. And uh, Anita, can I uh, request you to hand over the bouquet to Dr. Martin? So next we have uh, Dr. Amit Joshi. We'll be honored with a bouquet from Anita Shamsunda. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So now I request all the panel members to raise for the lighting ceremony. Now, I invite Mr. V. Balakrishnan, Commissioner of Police, Kwamitu City, to give his chief guest address. Good morning, everybody. Dr. David Rajan. Madam Sunita Rajan, Mr. Sridhar, uh, Mr. Martin, uh, Mr. Um, Sunil, Amit Joshi, sorry, and all the other dignitaries on the dais and uh, the uh, participants of this seminar. Wonderful morning, Sunday morning uh, to all of you. And uh, I'm really happy to be part of uh, this event um, for various reasons, the most important thing is I always uh, like um, academic uh, experience like this and uh, I always look for uh, conferences, uh, national and international conferences on the various uh, field. Basically, 
um, I'm an agriculture graduate uh, um, from Tamil Nadu Agriculture University and I even I com completed my post graduation in agriculture again from Indian Institute Indian Agriculture Research Institute uh, New Delhi then uh, I did another um, uh, post graduation in uh, human rights um, recently 2017 and 18 from University College of London um, uh, so with this background generally uh, you can uh, guess that why I am inclined to uh, participate in academic uh, events like this. And also, um, this is an important conference in the sense that it gives a kind of um, personal touch for me because uh, I uh, personally benefited from, um, you know, these kinds of uh, expertise. Uh, way back in uh, 2003, when I joined the um, training for my uh, probationary, uh, during my probationary period in uh, National Police Academy, Hyderabad, uh, the trainers, most of the trainers were from paramilitary forces, and I would, I should admit that, uh, you know, those days the training was not so scientific. So, a lot of um, thrust was given on um, putting so much of effort, physical effort, but uh, now I can realize that it was not so scientific uh, because considering their background, the trainer's background, they are not um, scientific, they were also not scientifically trained and they were not uh, scientifically taught how to train the, um, the police officers. Um, only based on their experience they were there. And uh, as a result, I, though I was uh, topping the physical um, outdoor uh, exercise, until, uh, you know, closely near to the completion of the training, uh, I developed uh, um, developed knee injury uh, towards the end and I couldn't uh, maintain that position until the end. And then um, I consulted, uh, in fact, several uh, sports uh, medicine specialists also. Uh, it's, uh, of course, everybody has got an approach based on their experience and uh, uh, their knowledge. Uh, but unfortunately, the, nobody couldn't uh, fix my knee problem. But uh, later, uh, in the year 2019, I met a physio uh, who is actually training um, a lot of professional cricket teams. And uh, he has done his course in Australia. And of course, um, based on that scientific approach to training, uh, then he suggested me a few um, you know, uh, measures to rectify the, saturate the knee problem. Basically, the previous approach was the whoever I had met, they uh, suggested me to strengthen the muscles around the knee. Uh, but they, unfortunately, for uh, many people it may work, might have worked, but for me it didn't work. Uh, then this gentleman, he suggested me to uh, strengthen the uh, bigger muscles, right, uh, core muscle, then, um, uh, you know, thigh muscle, and then uh, glute, all those muscles, he, said he basically, um, you know, explained to me logically, the upper, when you run, upper body weight is transmitted to the knee. So unless you strengthen your upper muscles, uh, the muscles above your knee, uh, the weight will be definitely transmitted to the knee and then uh, the pressure will be on the knee only. So that simple logic and uh, uh, simple um, uh, suggestion to strengthen the uh, right muscles uh, immediately solve my problem. Now I can run um, off marathon 10 kilometers regularly. Otherwise, uh, it was such a uh, difficult task uh, for me to uh, complete the run. So, um, why I am telling the referring to this particular experience is that um, this conference, particularly day, this is day two, and you have called uh, the uh, trainers, uh, the people associated with the sports, coaches, um, and it is a unique experience, um, interactive experience for everybody to understand each other's perspective and uh, uh, update uh, their knowledge. Uh, in agriculture, uh, we uh, say something called, uh, um, you know, field to um, land to lab, right? Whatever uh, problems the farmers face in the land should be unless brought to the lab and research is done on that to find out a solution. Uh, the, uh, you know, mere working in silos will not uh, uh, help anybody. Uh, research um, in the lab without realizing the demands, requirements of the field, uh, you know, won't be, uh, it will pass off like uh, an academic exercise only. So these kinds of conferences, I look at uh, this co particular conference in this uh, uh, 
um, perspective only. So I really appreciate uh, Dr. David Rajan and his uh, team for organizing this kind of uh, seminar, um, you know, in which everybody, the, all the stakeholders um, of injuries uh, are brought under one umbrella and uh, uh, discussion happens. And though this particular um, uh, charter of um, uh, the conference is for, for shoulder injury and the upper uh, body injuries, uh, but um, the principles are uh, almost same for all the uh, parts. And uh, this, I think, uh, Mr. Sridharan and basketball um, uh, player, they uh, they use the uh, shoulder muscles more than anybody else. So definitely, um, for uh, the uh, people in that, um, uh, you know, in those sports, it is a uh, it is a very good opportunity to learn the uh, complex nature of uh, the injuries. Uh, prevention of injuries, definitely, that is the thrust. Um, which has been placed here and uh, because uh, once uh, you suffer some injury then uh, maybe uh, when you are at a critical point of your uh, career um, you may lose opportunities and then your career will just uh, uh, be in away from there. So prevention of injuries um, definitely is a very critical one because um, we have uh, seen great players, many great players, when they are at their pre peak of their career, uh, they suffer injury and then they go out of action. In the meantime, somebody else will take their place and then that is gone forever. So, uh, prevention of injury is definitely the most important thing and uh, uh, I'm sure the participants here will uh, immensely benefit from the interaction uh, happens here. Of course, uh, uh, you know, Dr. David Rajan with so much of experience in sports machine medicine and uh, the uh, doctors from various parts of the world, from Nepal, from France and from different parts of the country and state um, will uh, definitely uh, bring out, enhance uh, the experience of the participants and um, at the end of the conference, definitely you will go out with uh, much more enlightenment, enlightenment uh, in the field of um, shoulder injuries. And then you can, uh, as coaches, it is very important for all of you to, uh, you know, note down each and every movement of the players and correct it at the uh, initial stage itself before it becomes uh, harder to rectify the mistakes. So that the injuries are prevented uh, or steps are taken uh, to um, prevent injuries at the early stage itself so that uh, uh, precious time is not lost in uh, uh, developing injury and then uh, uh, looking at it. So um, I'm happy to be here uh, not only uh, as a person um, who is interested in sports and uh, fitness uh, but also um, as a police officer uh, because um, many a times um, not many times. Now, um, I can say in Tamil Nadu, police department offers a lot of job opportunities for the uh, sports persons. So, once they join the police, uh, many times what happens is uh, they are uh, drawn into uh, routine uh, duties and then they lose touch. Suddenly, when there is uh, an event, a sports event, then they are asked to play. Uh, sometimes, uh, suddenly, coming out of uh, law and order to the ground, then they develop, uh, they definitely, uh, there is a chance that they develop uh, injuries. So for them also it is very important to learn um, how to keep themselves uh, fit and prevent injuries so that their, um, uh, you know, the, the whatever abilities, whatever uh, sports um, field in which they have um, come from, they can continue to play that. Um, on the lighter side, definitely whenever we uh, use um, uh, legal forces, sometimes uh, uh, bones are broken, so um, the ortho is always uh, very closely associated with us and um, we would uh, definitely seek doctor's help, uh, um, you know, on important occasions. Thank you very much, all the best. Thank you, sir. Now I request Mrs. Sunita Rajan, Director of Administration, Ortho One, to felicitate the Chief Guest, Mr. V. Balakrishnan, with Momento.
Now I invite Dr. M. Sham Sundar, Organizing Secretary of Ortho One Academy Series, to give his speech about Ortho One Academy. Respected uh, senior members on the dais, my dear friends, um, Ortho One has traveled a long distance. Ortho One, as such, got its brand from 2009. But the legacy has been uh, continued even before that. And uh, the, I would proudly say Dr. David Rajan has been the pioneer in sports medicine and educating all the other uh, future generations in sports medicine ever since uh, he started his practice even before that. I would say maybe 1980 or even before that. So it's still a pleasure to be working under him. And um, we continue to serve better under his guidance and take forward his legacy forever. Now, why did we continue this Ortho One Academy. The main purpose of doing this academy is to commit ourselves to medical education. A knowledge which is not gained, a knowledge which is not shared is useless. So we have learned this habit from Dr. David Rajan and we have to share it and uh, make sure that the next generation keeps up with continuing medical educations. We have been conducting yearly conferences, various conferences on various subspecialties in orthopedics we conduct weekly CMEs, which means we doctors attend classes every Tuesday. If, if we miss our surgery, if we miss our food, if we miss our sleep, doesn't matter, but we have to attend the class. 7.30 Tuesday morning is absolutely crucial for us. And we always conduct these fellowship programs and we try to train at least six to seven doctors per year who are going to be the future of sports medicine and they're going to continue to serve this excellent service for the future generation. And we are always inclined towards a research program which helps us to keep on par with the international standards. Any continuing medical education, any medical service without any appropriate research is absolutely hopeless. And whatever you're going to talk is based on research and evidence-based medicine practice. And that's what we are always thinking about. Our weekly audits, the meetings which we do on how we operated the patients, always helps us improve and improvise on a surgical strategy and treatment of patients. And that way we continue to serve much better and improve on our quality. And we are always there for the sports. Any sports that occurs, our camping people are there to keep, make sure that prevention is done before we start any treatment. And that's the most important thing for an athlete. And soft skill management. This is another crucial part of our management protocol where the soft skills, nursing management, hospitality management, hospital care management, everything is taken care of in under the one banner of Ortho One Orthopedic Specialty Center. Now the problem is when you're in closed doors, you have no idea whether your knowledge is shared or not. So that's the reason why we are establishing this academy to make sure we share it to you, you learn from us and you improvise on it and you improve further. So our main program and the main agenda of this Ortho One Academy is observe from us, learn from us, try to practice the right way and serve better. So this is our agenda. So why the academy? We have to share the knowledge. We have to open up for the future generation, improving and the accessibility and our approachability. And uh, we have to start on the uh, various other programs such as unlimited access to various programs that we have been conducting. See, you have attended a lot of programs previously. You would have attended beautiful meetings year on year, every six months, every one month. But once you go home and after one month, you will try to forget. You tend to forget what you have learned. And for you to access that and rejuvenate your, uh, your brains, your thoughts on that particular topic, you need to have, have access of all the programs. So what we have done is we have created this Orthon Academy website. We will load all the pre-recorded videos, all the uh, conferences which we have conducted and make it accessible for you so that you can access it anytime and still learn further. And all the meetings, all the CMEs, all the basic surgical and physio related training programs will be embedded in this Ortho One Academy to make it a complete digital platform in order to make sure that we serve you better. Our salient features in the academic commitments were the orthopedic knee course which we conducted in 2014 which received enormous uh, reputation and then the Indo-US shoulder conference which we did in the month in the year 2015 where we had international faculties from US as well as from France and then we conducted the Indian Cartilage Society meeting in 2017 under the uh, organizing secretary Dr. Santosh Sahanan and uh, the SESI program which is especially for the shoulder that is Shoulder and Elbow Society of India in 2019. All these were top-notch success and received enormous reputation. Before that 
we had actually started this program way back in 2019 where we conducted the musculoskeletal program for children and then we conducted the ankle arthroscopy program in 2019 under the banner of uh, the ortho one uh, inviting faculties from japan and then we conducted the orthopedic knee course in 2012 and then in the orthopedic knee course in 2014 namely the indian cartilage society meeting 2015 and the sesicon in 2019 and we always make sure that the doctors are trained up to date which means we conduct cadaveric lab training one in bangalore one in chennai every six months once so that we improve and improvise on our surgical skills to make sure that the surgical out outcome is absolutely perfect the team changes people change but the goal is to provide unlimited access to the content of interest which means we have to share the knowledge the update everything we have research guidance which is available we have excellent doctors who are focused on doing a lot of research. You can make use of their help in improvising on your research programs. And we have healthcare upgradation modules in the academy and kindly request you to access that and uh, enjoy the benefits. All you have, uh, who have registered for the conference have a complimentary uh, membership program for six months and it's still available for you. Hence, become a member, enjoy the journey, continue to serve better. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we will continue with the felicitation of our guests. I request Mrs. Sunita Rajan to felicitate Mr. G. E. Sridharan and Mr. Vipin Vijay. Thank you, ma'am. Now I invite Mrs. Anita Shamsunda to felicitate Mr. Jean Noel Martin and Mr. Amit Joshi. Thank you, ma'am. Now I invite Dr. K. Santosh Sahanand, Medical Superintendent of Ortho One Orthopedic Specialty Center, to give his vote of thanks. Good morning, all. I'll make it quick. Uh, thanks a lot to our chief guest, Mr. Balakrishnan, who has compromised his uh, free family Sunday for us. And after this, he's got a couple of meetings to attend. So thank you very much, sir, for being here. And our guest of honor is uh, uh, Sridhar, sir and uh, Ajit for being here uh, on this day and you will continue to be here till the session ends, I guess. And thank you, Noel and Amit for being here. A special thanks to Sham, this is on behalf of Ortho One as a medical superintendent. Special thanks to Sham for this uh, excellent meeting which is organized here and the entire team which worked along with him and special thanks to Sai Lakshmi in particular. She's done a lot of work. You see her in front giving the medals and all the homework and special thanks to the entire team which worked with him. Thank you. Thank you very much. With this, uh, the inauguration uh, ceremony comes to an end. We thank uh, the chief guest, Mr. V. Balakrishnan for uh, enlightening the session for us. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs>